Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Mike. I'm Spencer. Dan. This is Board Game Rundown. Today we're going to review Smash Up Disney Edition. But before we do that, be sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Discord, Facebook, all the Ring good the things. Ring the bell. Uh, so Smash Up Disney Edition, it's still a uh, Paul Peterson game, uh, but obviously they have implemented the, uh, the Disney theme. And actually, um, it, it bears mentioning, and oh gosh... Now I'm blanking on his name, the designer. This also has, uh, from the op team, uh, Fletch, Sean Fletcher, oh, who yeah, yeah. Uh, Fletcher. designed uh, the uh, Disney Sorcerer's Arena, which is a game that I enjoy quite a bit. Uh -huh. And we've reviewed it. And uh, so anyways, uh, this is, if you have, if you are familiar with Smash Up, this part will be boring to you. But uh, otherwise, uh, we will just kind of explain how Smash Up is played. You're going to select two decks that are themed now in here they are themed based on basically disney movies right so you've got wreck it ralph lion king big hero six aladdin mulan and beauty and the beast they do have recommendations in the book that will say like oh these these two pair together you know these guys pair together well but you don't have to abide by that you can play any way you want oh yeah also nightmare before christmas and frozen uh spencer had those over there um so you don't have to like live and die by those combos but for ease of learning or maybe seeing some synergy early on in the game, uh, that can help you out while you're getting familiar with the game. And uh, Smash Up, you're gonna you're gonna have four bases that are out. They're gonna have a breaking point, so there is a the maximum amount of power that they can hold collectively from all the characters being played there, and then and then a scoring system based on those, and that will change depending on the base. The base is also going to give you actions or have effects as you play cards there potentially. And then on your turn, you're going to, you're basically, you've got your hand of cards. You are going to play a character card and an action card. And usually it's going to be more than that because you're going to have combinations, which will allow you to play extra actions or extra characters, so on and so forth. And uh, you play to 15 and that is pretty much how smash up is played. Now I have to say, and I haven't, seen like the newer editions of smash up but one thing that this game does is they provide these cards for the bases which is a massive improvement oh you usually just have to count on the spot I, correct i disagree and i'll tell you why later. okay no i think i know why but i will say that i out of the out of the gate uh that is a thing that i like a lot uh but while we're just talking about gameplay um yeah you're gonna see there's there's a lot of characters right in different fun combinations. I feel like, and you guys can disagree with me if you want, but I feel like all of the decks feel very much on theme. Like the characters all. Like, yeah, for the most part. Um, they I mean, were all fun, for I mean, sure. Aladdin's doing wishes, you know, and yeah. like going through. and The Frozen theme was a little less. Uh, most, of the, most of what it does is it searches for the specific characters, mm -hmm. but that's not really something... I mean, well, all people care about in Frozen is the characters. So, uh, okay. yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. aren't they going to try to find her? Like, well, she's in her ice palace. I was expecting more of the uh, freezing things out. And right. But you did also I freeze did things out. I did get one. That's so, true. you did do that. I did do that. Yeah, you, Aladdin is just constant deck manipulation. Um, uh, who else was I? You had Mulan. Mulan was is uh, self buffs, but honestly, I didn't get a lot of Mulan cards out. But they were like constantly, they constantly buff themselves, is because they're warriors. Yeah, sure. Right? And the night before Christmas um, was all about character <laughs> modifiers. Oh, sure. Which was, I'm not certain how that one fit the theme at all. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think you've got to, because you're like, what's this? What's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, I expected it to be more playing things from my discard pile, but that was actually the Frozen deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I think, you know, with, because um, I had uh, uh, Big Hero 6, so I was going through and getting Swarm, you know. Like, oh, yeah, a little nanobot? I should say I had the potential to go through and pull nanobots out and things like that. And um, and then with uh, Beauty and the Beast, I had some interesting cards. Lots of, Beauty and the Beast was very much like, uh, discard a card, but then if if you discard a certain card, you might be able to play it as an action, you know, in addition, at, you know, so... So it doesn't hurt to discard stuff with that. And I thought that that combination was pretty neat and worked well. I don't know necessarily that it was like on theme with Beauty and the Beast, but I do, it did feel unique to my deck. 
Uh, and the, the artwork on all the cards and the characters are really nice. But we'll get into that when we do components. Mike, you got anything on gameplay? Yeah, I played Wreck-It Ralph and the Lion King. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph uh, had the ability to kind of destroy some bases. <laughs> to wreck it. No, that ain't it. <laughs> to wreck them. <laughs> to wreck it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, also move uh, characters from one base to another. And that also fits. Oh, with the, the teleporting, uh, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, the digitized things Going or through the... Um, the Power strips, right? And I guess the I the theme with the Lion King, um, it was it was adding power to characters I already had played, mm -hmm. uh, or yeah, strength to characters I had already played, or pulling some uh, characters out of my deck that I wanted, oh. mm -hmm. or having Mufasa in my discard pile uh, gave me additional benefits as yeah, well. That was the Kingdom cool. United okay, yeah. after a dead Mufasa who That's then came back to correct. life. Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to throw him in the discard pile. I had to kill him. And there's always a sequel, prequel. Correct. Just blah, like, blah, blah. Long live the king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I quickly used Mufasa in a base that broke so I could instantly put him in my discard smart. pile. So, oh, all right, uh, you did your job. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> a fallen soldier here. Right on, right on. All right, well, let, let's, uh, let's go into components. What's in the box? So components, I feel like, is a very strong point in this game for me. I think the artwork is really good. Uh, I I like, I know that these are arbitrary. Useless. I think they're cool, though. But, but they look cool. cool. They're they plastic, look cool. The plastic. Nice yeah. little yeah, character. Nice know. little character Use. dividers. Um, unlike Spencer, I really like these base cards that, that maintain the break point and the power level. These should be clips. I will just oh, say yeah, that. Oh, yeah, setup and stuff, too. And it tells you how... You do everything with the bases on the back of each base. Nice. Uh, so the the these should be clips. It would be better if they were clips. Oh boy! Because you so you could slide them around. But uh, it, for a game that is already fiddly, what's two more fiddly bits on you know the four bases? But uh, but yeah, I like the artwork. I like the style of it. I think it, that all, all of that looks really good. The card quality is really good in in the Smash Up. All the Smash Up games. This is another one in the line where the Card quality is is really solid. You know what I like that is absolutely useless? Um, all the different cards have their own font. Oh, you know? yeah. Like, so uh, it, this is hmm. like not a big difference you can really see here. But so like the Frozen mm -hmm. font is yeah, different got, like, than the Nightmare times. Before Christmas font. And they oh, all they all have like a thematic okay. font uh, to them. Uh, yeah, not the black font. Because <laughs> yeah, like, that's the important stuff you have to read. Oh, <laughs> so I like the Aladdin font. Yeah. Is, uh, but that's a nice stylized. little addition that was unnecessary, and it's just a nice little thematic thing. And I do believe that all the art is just straight from the movies. Uh, yeah, sure looks like it. Yeah, so was all of your stills from like the stop motion? Yeah. With the, uh, yeah, that's all stills. Sure. No, it's great. It's great. I... Uh, Spencer. Yes. You're negative. My negative. <laughs> um, so these things are just pieces of paper that if you accidentally nudge, you can see very easily move around. Yeah. And you're constantly having to move the power marker. Oh, that's now in the way. I don't want to do that one. Power marker. Oh, my, it sucked my finger. And then, oh, I, I may have accidentally nudged another character. I put a character here and it nudges things. Around. And so it just, I think it would have been better if either this had a lot more weight to it, like being a neoprene mat or even a piece yeah. of cardboard. Well, and playing on this table was a bad idea with that too. Yeah, like we wouldn't have do tables like Sure. This. Yeah. Sure. I'm just yeah. saying that uh, play on a table of cloth or something is all I'm saying. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Right. Or, or they could have used counters for this stuff or there could have been other ways to do it. Yep. I just I did not like Yeah, beads I guess would have worked. That's easily true. you can mess this up and I was constantly having to re put things down. While it wasn't a big problem for me because the counting is pretty easy anyway, it is true that the only reason they're in the game is to make the the power management quicker. And we kind of found ourselves double checking anyway, yeah, just exactly, in case exactly. they slid around. Right. So yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, uh, but I think the components in this game are really, you know, oh, and those are double sided. Oh, yeah. yeah, they are double. -sided. Yeah, double sided yeah. chits, which was a little confusing that the five is a plus three on the other side because we kept going to like think that it, you know, that and it was Tim not kept that. somehow grabbing victory points, and when he would set them down, would flip them over, and then he'd look down <laughs> ten seconds later and be like, "Where did all these plus ones come from?" <laughs> <laughs> factual. So, so that, that was entertaining. 100% factual. We didn't, we didn't factual. know they were double-sided until that happened. And I had a couple of cards that would do, uh, or someone had a couple of cards that did minus one stuff, but they don't have any minus one tokens. That's true. 
That's it, though. Yeah. <laughs> End of yeah. that sentence. Yeah, and and uh, as somebody that plays games uh, like Sentinels of the Multiverse, mm-hmm. the fiddliness th- is this isn't as yeah. fiddly as that. It's manageable. Uh, for sure. th- it's manageable amount of yeah. fiddliness. I I do think that that will bother some people. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, insert. Do you think it was good enough, like good height to hold the cards? I think they need to be a little bit taller I because I felt be. like we had some cards get mixed in that that shouldn't. Yeah, we did you have Mike a problem. Mike kept trying to play some of my cards. Yeah, we did have a problem where some of the cards from one yeah. deck got into another deck while it was uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the, uh, well, also, to be fair, Mike was the only one that didn't check his. Yeah, I things. don't know if he was out of the room. He might have been. He might have been. He might have yeah, been. been. No big deal. No big deal. Um, and then, and yeah, you enough. went over rule books. So, well, yeah. In the same corner on each one, there's a very distinct... Uh, thing so when you're looking through the deck you just have to very lightly do it you know exactly what you yeah the iconography yeah. is for Good for enough. at least what deck style you're supposed to have we did learn though that next sure. time mike should play big hero six though because all his favorite <laughs> cards were the big hero six ones <laughs> i kept trying to play the ones that weren't a part of my deck but somehow they were mixed in and i'm the only one here who's actually watched all of these movies correct <laughs> yeah you say I've that like most of them. yeah i've seen <laughs> parts of most of them and i am able to also identify all i am aware of all of these right. ips right i, have I know big, never heard of Man. big hero six it's technically a marvel movie <laughs> You're right. Okay. It, is, it is a Marvel movie. Yeah. Looks like Mega Man. Uh, yeah, What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I didn't too. say anything bad, anything bad about that. I'd uh, rather watch Mega Man. How's the rule book? Uh, so it's 20 pages, but really, once you get to page nine, you that's smash up rules. So it's nine pages of smash up rules. And there's uh, a lots of very, pages taken up by four very, pictures. Yeah, and, yeah, I mean, a lot of pictures in there, but then the rest are just card clarifications. Mm-hmm. Terms, restrictions, um, and then a very good um, summary of the factions on the back. They even have recommended uh, matchups for here. So, and tips and good beginner Mm -hmm. partner factions. Like the Lion King matches up with Frozen and Wreck It Ralph well. Mulan matches up with Wreck It Ralph or Big Hero 6 well. So, uh, kind of like when you have variable play like that and you have to mesh things together. I like when it gives you suggested layouts. And they also tell you the complexity, right? Medium, high, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, low, medium, and on so on and too. so forth. I appreciated right. yeah. that. Yeah, those kind of things, especially because this style of game is going to be more angled towards that gateway game and getting people into the hobby. So having things to sort of ease that you know, definitely uh, make and, it, make it more acce- uh, accessible. And looking at these, the highest one we have is medium high. So that leads me to believe that these are on the same scale as every other smash up mm-hmm. because they are obviously interchangeable. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and really you could smash this up with Absolutely. your smash up. So I could just take this out of and put this in my smash up big box. I don't yep. know if I've got room anymore. But I'll have to see. Uh, all right, guys, let's go into final thoughts. Final thoughts. Mike. I know you're not a Smash Up fan, so let's hear your your final thoughts on Smash Up. Yeah, I just don't think the game mechanics of Smash Up are that interesting to me. I am playing a card, essentially, for a number, and I'm comparing those numbers to other people's numbers um, in an attempt to race to 25 at that particular base. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, while some of the combos and the actions in this I thought were more interesting than base smash up, the base mechanic of smash up it doesn't appeal to me that much. Mm-hmm. So, you know, my final thoughts are, are uh, pretty simple. I mean, this is smash up with a few more mechanics. So don't expect anything different than smash up if right. you were. Uh, there might be a few additional mechanics here because of the characters that are involved. Um, I mean, I don't think it's a bad game, um, but uh, there's just a lot of other games I'd rather play at this weight and time. Sure. In this time frame that this plays. I get it. I get it. So uh, it's just okay for me. Sure. Spencer. Uh, I mean, it is a good game in my opinion. Uh, I liked uh, how everything meshes together, the different combos that you can get. I had at one point uh, a character... Uh, Elsa, who brings people from the graveyard, and then I put on her an ability that made her come back as well, so I could continually play her and 
bring mm -hmm. people back. Another one that let me bring back the character modifiers. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of complexity that you weren't expecting or I wasn't expecting. Um, and especially when you also added the base powers. Uh, there were a couple of questions I had, like uh, when do modifiers only affect that person? Um, but I think we decided oh, they do. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel, I feel like the rules are pretty clear. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, I mean, I don't have much more to say. Daniel. Uh, I'm also not a huge fan of Smash Up, but it's, 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 I don't even know why. It's just a forgettable game to me. Cause uh, unlike you, Mike, I actually think the, the, the mechanics are really solid. You're, you're picking two factions, you're mixing the decks together. And then really kind of what you're playing is an, is a, um, engine building area control game. You know, mm. it's just so abstracted because it's just cards that like, I don't know if it feels that way to everyone, but the whole point of your deck is you're trying to create a, an engine um, and, and then control the areas. And and I think that it does those two things really well, um, but it does feel weird. Like it does feel weird that by, oh, I'm just controlling this area because I have uh, seven numbers on my cards and you have five numbers on your cards. And um, oh, and my engine building is just uh, by playing this card, I get to play another action, which gets me to cause another character, which gets me to do this. And so it is like short term engine building. You know, it's not like you're building up this engine that keeps getting bigger and keeps getting better. But you look at your hand and you say, what can I build? Not just for this turn, but knowing the cards I'll have left in my hand, I'll set up at least next turn. Right. Mm. And like. So you have this kind of short form engine building that you're doing. And uh, the Aladdin deck is very good at that. That's its whole point. I mean, there were multiple turns where I played like five cards in a turn mm. um, and, and was just creating these crazy scenarios. Oh, three turns because you yeah. had three wishes. I guess that's, well, one of the times I didn't just, do that option. But, was it, did, <laughs> but uh, at one point you had played like four cards and you still had four more in your yeah, hand. I'm like, yeah. oh! Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I went through his deck trying to steal an action card. And they were all characters. Yeah. <laughs> I would be envious of that because I had all action cards. Right, very different. Which resulted right. in a totally couple of turns of me not being able to do of anything. Drawing, sure. Also, you know. Dan, I, I do want to make sure you get to add that point about how there is more going on to this game than yeah. you really expect by looking at the box and theme. Yeah, sure. for sure. This game is a way more strategic game than you think you're getting into. I mean, reading the cards in your hand, reading the base powers, and reading out all the other cards people have out on the game and seeing the, you know, the chain lightning that's going to proc between everything just by, okay, I play this one. Okay, this activates, this activates, this activates. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. geez, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, there's way more strategy going on here than you would think and perhaps that you would want, you know, like if you haven't played uh, Smash Up. Yeah, but well, yeah. I would appreciate the I mean, low complexity. Still call it a gateway game, but there's a bit... There's a lot going on, like you said. When one player car, when one player plays a card, that, that could proc four cards at right. one base, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of reading exactly what those player powers do when that happens. So. Right. Well, overall, I think it's a really solid system, um, and there is a good game here. Smash Up's just never really been for me, and I don't know why. Like, yes, this is the most fun I've had with it, but that's just because I'm a huge Aladdin fan, and the Aladdin deck worked really well. So that's kind of an unfair scenario to be uh, thrown into. You know? I don't know. I, I think um, it's representative of your experience. Sure. I think that that's Plus, fine. You were singing some of the songs. Oh, constantly. <laughs> yeah, uh, although I think Mulan uh, came out more. Yeah, the Mulan God, one. Good play. songs. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure it's for me, but if you like Smash Up, I, this is a home run. I mean, this is a fantastic set. I yeah. Think, so. Yeah, I think for me, Smash Up has always been a game that I really want to like. And I've bought expansions for it. I've been gifted expansions for it. And then I'm always kind of like, uh, it's fine. I think Mike nailed it when he just said for the, for the time and the effort, there's just other games that I would rather spend my time playing. I mean, to be, I mean, full disclosure, we were playing, I was having bad turns. I, everybody else was doing a lot of stuff and I had a lot of downtime and I got bored. I was on my phone. I was bored. Um, it wasn't holding my interest. Uh, it's, and I don't think it's be because necessarily a hundred percent that the game is the game. I think that some of it is like, I'm trying to like smash up. I'm just not. And, um, so it's not a, as appealing to me, 
I thought like I I honestly though like I respect and I really thought that the combos that that Spencer and Dan were pulling off were really cool and doing lots of neat stuff. I was like, that's awesome. Gets to my turn and it's like, well, I can't do anything. I'm going to just draw two cards. Yeah, it's very and, luck dependent. And then and that's fine. I mean, it's a you know that's what happens right. sometimes. But then I wait 15 more minutes for it to come back around on my turn, maybe 10, but still come back to around to my turn and it's like, well, I can kind of play one card. But like nothing in my hand is like really gonna combo. So do you wait and hope that you can build up yeah. and like have one of these turns? It's, it's and, almost like if you had a, an ability to discard your whole hand and draw that many cards back. Sure, yeah, draw. something like yeah. that. But I also and I was I did check. I was playing uh, two factions that combo well together. And I was to, wondering about that. And to be fair. The couple of times that I was uh, able to play, so, like work some of those combos, it was very cool. Like yeah. the combos were were cool. I enjoyed, I really appreciated the mechanics that were presented to me. I just was not able to execute those because of card draw. Well, and it happened to me too. I also chose a combination that the book said is, a, is an ideal combination, but I had one turn where I had no characters to play. Uh -huh. And all of the actions in my hand were manipulation of characters. So, oh, well, right. wait, I don't have a character yeah. to play, and all my actions would combo right. off the character, y which I don't have. And I yes. don't want to sure. manipulate the ones I already have on the board, so I'll just draw two cards. Right, And, right. yeah, when you see these guys, like, playing four or five cards. But these guys were playing a and, game. And well, <laughs> I, I also had multiple turns, at least two or three turns, where I just drew two cards. Sure. Yeah, and, and I, I just had... wish there was that didn't happen as much. Sure. It, it feels like a dud turn when you see somebody play five cards and breaks a base, sure. and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to draw two cards. Yeah, I was laughing uh, because of how you guys are describing it, and then, like, going over to Spencer, who early game was doing pretty poorly because you yeah. said you kind of have a late-game deck or whatever, yeah, like, you're the way you build. Build But, up. like, the whole time you were like, God, I'm doing terrible. This is oh, so much fun. This like he kept what, saying oh, that. Sure. I love. I, I, he won. Yeah, I love doing that <laughs> and he won. And we can, yeah, and you it know, was all in like what, two turns. There's just, tons of games where we you can you can have just an absolute right. garbage mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, I played terrible or I just had a bad draw, but you can still have a lot of fun. No, and, yeah, I, and I'm almost on the opposite. I was chaining combos like crazy, and I just don't like Smash up that yeah. much, you know? So and I had, a, I had a couple of turns where I had no cards in my hand at the end of the turn. I had like had two, and I just got lucky that they were cards that I could play. Ridiculous. That's the only reason this, I lost. This deck is, <laughs> is all about searching for things. So yeah. that, that was useful for me. If they weren't like that, yeah, I would have had like three or four turns where I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, and, it, you know, this might... I don't know. This might be one that like maybe I, we revisit after I played some of the other combinations, but I don't know if if it's just, let's just say I played a specific combination and that time I had a great time right. and then I played it again the good, and right. then I play it again and I don't like the combination. It's like, well, is it really cool that like right. I only like playing with that one combination? Right. It's not like you can, okay guys, let's play Smash of Time, but by the way, I'm being these two and no one else yeah, can because that's the only way I'll have fun. Yeah, yeah. and personally, <laughs> no. I don't want to play with somebody that would <laughs> right. do that, so I don't want to also present that you know situation. And also, full disclosure, I think Tim wanted to play more of the combination combinations before reviewing this and we kind of talked him into reviewing it anyway because we're not sure if we really like it that much well so we don't want to add more time invested in into that because of right yeah. Yeah, ratings, yeah 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 which may not may we, or may we, not be we had some debate over playing it a little bit more and i we just decided it's okay, a simple well, enough game i don't think there's extra well, depth the to big be point is we've all before. played smash up before we have all played smash up and i think it would times. also be different if we've never right. played smash up i own smash up i have uh right. like i said several expansions i played it a bunch in the past you know I, I, yeah. at levi's i so. was and i was honestly i was kind of hoping like okay like this right, is this a would theme. Get me in. This is a yeah. theme that I'm digging. You know, like I, I almost got in on Marvel Smash, Marvel Smash Up when, yeah. when that came out a few years ago, and and didn't. And then when we had the opportunity, the op did send us this copy uh, to review, and so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take a flyer on it. Let's see. My kids, you know, like Smash. You know, they, well, they like Disney, so maybe they would like Smash Up. I do think that this is, while I say a gateway game uh, potentially, this is too complex. Uh, to play with my daughter, I think at the oh, moment. Oh, sure. I yeah. agree with that. I think the combinations are just, she's she going to get ju bored. She, they would just be asking you questions constantly about, you know, oh, uh, what, should I play this? What does this card do? There's and, just so much that And happens. that's not a knock, right? Sure. It's, it's just a, a, 
a fact about my situation. Uh, but I, but I think that these kind of games, uh, like what I really love and respect about these kind of games is that if you were at a big box store, you're walking through, you know, one of those stores and you saw smash up, you never look twice, but you see smash up with Elsa on the side or yep. captain America right. on the side, you know, a family that maybe doesn't play a lot of like, Non mass market board games is going to give it give something like this a shot, yep. and I don't personally think that this is a bad game. I actually think that this is a little bit better than the last uh, incarnations of Smash Up that I played, yes. and I also find the the theme a lot more appealing. Even Definitely. though the goofy, you know, funny, you know, uh, uh, expansions that you can have in the old in the original Smash Up and all those expansions, and I think that's why I always wanted to like it because it's like, oh, this would be hilarious because right. you're gonna, you know, you're gonna jam elves in with robots. Or, you know, I was gonna say, you know, Spencer's always playing cyborg dinosaurs every single right, time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Spencer. I will only play exactly Actually, cyborg dinosaurs. Uh, Actually, yes, uh, we must play this. <laughs> I'm probably a little weird. I, I like the game not because oh, you're a lot I weird. win. Okay, I'm very weird. Yeah. Not because I win, but because I like seeing the different combinations and trying to figure out how to make them work. Yeah. I'll even yeah. purposely go, oh, they say these two don't work? Well, I'm going to try it. Challenge accepted. <laughs> no, oh, and I, I, they didn't work. I think if it was a game that I had more fun playing, yeah. I would feel that way about it. Uh, because I do, you know, I, I mean, we, I think we all here, when we play a game, especially if we play a game a lot, uh, we do tr tend to try different strategies. Ah, one this way this time. You know, I'm going to try it this way now. I'm going to try something different. And uh, uh, so so to that effect, right? Like, well, you know, I played it this way. I'm going to try this way. And it, and honestly, if, if two decks really can't smash up together, then they should not be... In the same game? They, they should not be in the game. Because yeah. the whole idea is, is that you, decks, sure. you take two decks. I'm almost like in, on the back, instead of having uh, recommended decks, it should be... Try to avoid this combination. Well, he's saying that shouldn't exist. I say, yeah, I'm saying well, that no, shouldn't know, exist. I'm sure saying it shouldn't exist, but all the same time, it should exist. Like it shouldn't have to exist. Or sh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah um, I would just say design the game around that. Right. Yes. You know, Tim, it, but I don't feel like that the that's the main mechanic of the game. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> feel like that that's yeah. the error. You know, or, or no, why it, this it would is. get a lower score from yeah. me. You know, or anything like that. I want to revisit. Saying. I want to revisit your point about walking into a store and seeing this on the the I on display too. because you know this is this is going to be a big box stores. Mm -hmm. This yeah. has Elsa on the side yep. of it. It has a uh, comic plus, book font. It has this face. is appealing to kids. But Tim, for our audience, how old are your kids? <laughs> uh, ten and five. And he would not teach them to them because this. These card I clarifications I'm gonna say 14 need a lot. I uh, yeah. um, uh, no, yeah. I think you'd be okay at 12 or 13, Maybe. but uh, <laughs> just to make you wrong. <laughs> anyway, no, but oh, it, my my whole point is is that somebody could walk into a big box store, see this box, and go, "Great, this would be an awesome game to play with my kids." And, mm -hmm. and your mileage may vary. Yeah. I, have age recommendation I, I, on it? Well, I'm sure it does. Every game does. I don't know. That, that, I don't doesn't know always the necessarily Not indicate game. what age of kid I, should be playing. I, I, I was going to bring up the exact same point, Mike, because a lot of games are getting these Disney, um, these Disney, uh, you know, yeah, and their it mechanics says 14 and up. Look at that. Um, oh, it's like I was. Well, I'm just saying in big box stores, though, does that mean anything to people? Yeah, right? Sometimes, but not um, necessarily always. And, and I'm just saying that I do agree, Mike, that well, it's not like a cardinal sin or anything, but I do think that a lot of games are getting the licenses to Disney and stuff like this. And a lot of the times you see it and you're like, oh, that's awesome that they're getting people to play Star Wars villainous. And, you know, and like that's a family game or something. I'm just saying an example. Right. And you see this and you're like. I mean, they might like it, but it's going to take some learning. Uh, yeah, you know, like a this twenty is a, page rule book for yeah. someone that doesn't play games. That's a lot. They people will give up on page five, possibly. I don't know the rule. I mean, it's a twenty page rule book, but it could be ten if you took the pictures out. Well, I sure, agree, but, but also, and also ten of those pages are, that it, <laughs> are card qualifications. It's got the number twenty there. I don't, not everybody's going to understand. You know, sure. I, it just it's it not be necessarily for families, or and it's a borderline gateway game. Sure. Gateway yeah, plus. I think it's a gateway game, a heavier game disguised as a gateway game. Well, sure. And again, sure. gateway, though, is such an open thing. Like, sure. this isn't a gateway game to someone who's never played a board game before, but it is a gateway game to someone who's played a lot of complicated video games or who, you know, who does complicated math for a living and stuff. It's like, this is nothing to them, right? Yeah. So it depends on gateway is such a ambiguous term. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, I guess I just feel like that this is 
this is a very appealing IP to a lot of people sure. and families and things like that. Yeah, I would define gateway as in introducing some semblance of mechanics that they mm. might not be used to. And in this case, they call it shuffle building. It's almost deck building, but you're yeah. not deck building, but right. it's getting them into that stuff. Yeah, combining okay. some stuff and, yeah. and things like that. Yeah, I, I think that's all fair. This yeah, teaches people to take two decks that are unrelated and mix them together in other games. It's terrible. <laughs> it's evil. Uh, uh, why, is there, why is there an ace of spades? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say what decks. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, guys, let's go into our final score. Mike. My final score. Um, so I will keep this short and sweet. Too late. Um, I am not a huge fan of Smash Up because of mechanics I mentioned. <laughs> I am ultimately just trying to add numbers to a pile of other numbers uh, with a little bit of mitigation and some powers that will ultimately affect numbers. And that mechanic to me is not that strong nor thematic whatsoever. Okay. Um, although I think there is a much better theme here and more concepts that make the game a little bit more fun, it doesn't change my rating, and that's why I'm giving it a six. That was short I, and not short I, and only semi-sweet. There, I, I would not recommend this to gateway Idea. gamers. There's other games I'd rather play that play uh, in this time frame. Um, and, uh, so that's why it brings the score down. Plus I just don't really enjoy playing it that much. Okay. Spencer. I'm probably going to be the outlier. I yep. do like the game and I'm giving it an eight. All and right. Eight. Nice. Dude, that's nice. That's good. That's like great. It. No, that's great. I, I like it when people we like games. We want people to like these games. Like it's just, you know, it's just, it if wasn't, like, it's not if for you me. like the same kinds of games I like. You might consider this Nate. Oh, wow. So no one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> my, maybe, my, maybe my twin brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be one other person. And he doesn't even watch the show. Spencer doesn't watch the show. You know he doesn't watch the show. Right. Uh, Daniel. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't know. The generalized sentence of everything's just to get a number. Sure. So is any game where there's a score. Oh, and Dune Imperium. Just trying to get to 10. Yeah, but the game that's there is interesting. And and I, I think that the, the engine building that's here is interesting. Um, there's just so many other games that do engine building, but like actually feel like engine building and stuff. Right. So, uh, I, I'm going to fall, I'm going to fall on a 6.5 and I'll say that if you like smash up, I think this is a good addition. You'll like it. The yeah. uh, powers are cool. The, yeah. the claw, yeah. the card qualities and stuff are good. You'll like it. it. If you're just like, I collect every smash up thing, you will not be disappointed. If you're sure. brand new to it, I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd recommend it. If you're brand new to smash up. Uh, yeah, like if someone had never done this before, I don't think I'd be like, you should try Smash. Oh, I see. I, I mean, guess I guess I'm what saying. I would say. that's the, my seven. On the flip of that, I would say if somebody was like, oh, I'm interested in Smash Up, I'm looking to get into it. Oh, and sure. I would be like, oh, well, if you like, I would just, Smash Up is very easy to go. Pick, if you want to get into Smash Up, pick the theme you want. For sure. Like, and whatever people is will gonna, identify with these themes. Yeah. A lot more than they will with the others. The generic, yeah. you know, and I don't mean that in a bad way, yeah. but, you know, dinosaurs and robots. I mean, it's, it's. Generic, not mm -hmm. in a bad way, purposely. but just yeah. purposely generic, right? Um, so yeah, I'm kind of with you guys, but I, I'm a little bit higher because I do respect what the game brings to the table. Uh, I'm a seven. I it, it fully acknowledge that I have tried to like Smash Up and I just kind of don't, but I see a good game here that I that I know people do enjoy, and I don't think people are crazy for enjoying Smash Up, but uh, there's not to be as hyperbolic as Mike, you know, and just break it down into the most barest of bones because, you know, I don't think that that's fair. Like, oh, I'm just comparing numbers to do. I understand your point, but just like how it feels. No, and, and that's right. Right. The, the, I cannot take that away from you. Um, I, I just do not have a ton of fun away. <laughs> always playing this. I do feel like uh, I get I can get distracted very easily when I am having just do nothing turns. And when I draw my cards and I watch three other players need to go before me and I already know that there's nothing I can do no matter what changes out here and that my next turn is just going to be a card draw, it's really hard to hold my interest. And that happened at least two turns. And so that was really tough because some games I understand the board state can change. And so you do need to pay attention. But like there was nothing that could happen out here right. short of 
Somebody saying, "Hey Tim, draw three cards." Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, please. There was there was nothing that was going to happen out here that was going to change what was happening in my hand, and it was just bad luck. And I don't mind that. I like luck based games. It, it doesn't bother Same. me. Same. But uh, but anyway, so a seven for me. Uh, like Mike, I kept it short and sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk to you. this. Th that brings up I a really I'll quick sweet one. <laughs> uh, uh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> that brings up a really quick point. I want to make that should have been in final thoughts that I, I'm worried about the game being too mathable because it came to a point oh, sure. to where because of how the numbers work, like you were talking about, it came to a point where it was like, uh, I'm pretty sure within the next three turns, Spencer can't lose. So are we going to finish the game? Oh, right. Right. And like, because, well, I, I'm worried about the villainous problem to where either Spencer can't lose or we all have to stop him at all costs and add 30 minutes to the game. Yeah. Is and that I, worth I, it? And I don't know if you can do that as well in this oh, game. Oh, definitely as not as well. I think it's possible, but but that's just a terrible feeling. Well, Agreed. So, yeah. Well, if it had gone around and someone had like destroyed this character, I would... I have one. Sure, and that yeah. goes there into my. Are, we would have to uh, stop have you. To, like we'd have to focus yeah, all but effort. I, but I don't think it may have been an, an all effort. A single card that would have killed this character would have stopped me cold for, sure. for a minute. It's not I, like these like these combos are like twenty cards long. <laughs> I I could have played a card that would have destroyed the final base that you well, allowed you to win the sure. game, and then move them to a different base. But, but I was game. ready to stop playing, <laughs> so I did not play it. Well, yeah, and and again, well, all he would have had to do was come in second on any other base, and he still would have won. Right, it wouldn't so have changed that, that's anything. It just would have prolonged the length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Um, agreed. Anyway. Okay, so Spencer, what was our average? Oh, our average is a 6.9. Ta-da! Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. Uh, no, I mean, I think I think this is definitely one of those games where you look and you you go... You listen to what we said and what appeals to you. If if the things we say, you know, that, that we did like and think we're good about this game, if those things appeal to you, it's worth a shot. Uh, but personally, I'm not like, oh, you need to play Smash Up. But if like, you are a fan of Smash Up, you will probably like For sure. I would say if you're a fan Agreed. of Smash Up and, and you don't already have this, go out and get it. Yeah, well, and again, I think that a 6.9 is a well above average score and it's just yeah. under my recommendation score, which is a perfect slot for Smash Up. I yeah. think that's a good score. And I gave it a 7 because, like I said, it may not be for me. It may not be the game that I choose, but I could, if I know somebody's taste, I might go, oh, you you guys would probably like Smash sure. Up. You, could, you, you might enjoy this. So, so all That's right, uh, this has been Smash Up Disney Edition from the op. And for the board game rundown, I've been Tim. I've been Mike. I've been Spencer. Dan. We'll see you next time.